Like he literally compared a black woman to burnt toast. Like that is, that's garbage. You guys, he literally practiced the brown paper bag test. So have you guys heard of this radio host named Rod Lederman or Letterman from 97 Rock saying that he wouldn't date a black woman as dark as Serena Williams? So take a listen to this and let me know how you feel after you hear this. What, so we have ours, and I'm going to make it into trouble for this. Like two o'clock. I have them to the attractiveness of women that I find to be attractive. <laughs> so I'll go, I will never go to a Serena Williams level. But I'm very comfortable with, like, uh, uh, I'm very comfortable at a, a Halle Berry level. Okay. I need a, a, a little bit of mulatto still coming through. It can't be, not you know, like Is Gail King not, that's not your realm? No, Gail King is not even in on my, on my toaster level. You guys, after hearing him say this, it is so cringy. Like, he even says in the beginning, I may get in trouble for this. So he knew what he was about to say was wrong, but he still chose to say it. Like he literally compared a black woman to burnt toast. Like that is, that's garbage. You guys, he literally practiced the brown paper bag test. And if you're not aware of the brown paper bag test, so basically this was a method used to determine that if a black woman's skin tone was equal or lighter than the brown paper bag, then she was accepted. So Mr. Rod, he sat up there on his show and literally compared black women, dark skin versus light skin, basically saying that light skin is better than dark skin. Like he literally said this, you guys. He legit said he'd rather a mulatto. Like why did he have to use those words? Like why did he have to say that? And yes, I know mulatto means a mixed person, but did he really have to say that? So what he's saying is he'd, he'd rather date a mixed girl than a dark skin, like a truly black woman because she's more accepted. Like how disgusting, like how? Could someone feel so comfortable saying something like this on a public show? Like, I, I don't understand that. So <clears throat> once Cumulus Media found out about this, Cumulus Media is the company that owns the radio station, but once they found out about this, they terminated him immediately. They didn't wait because because they knew it was wrong. So I'm glad they recognized that. Here's what they had to say. And of course, Mr. Rod issued a public apology because he was getting so much backlash. But I have to wonder, would he have apologized if he wasn't, if he didn't get so much backlash and he was still working for that radio station? I don't know, but here's what he had to say. Well, there's one black woman, light-skinned black woman, that does agree with Mr. Rod. Lisa Ray ended up co-signing this BS from this talk show host and agreeing with him. Take a look at this. I heard was a, an opinion. I heard that he's just saying that he just doesn't, he won't go as far as a dark-skinned black woman. He's Get your comfortable ass out going here. with the color of a Halle Berry. What's That's wrong with that? That's a That's a fool because, because nobody, first of all, nobody asked you. That. That's first. Second of all, that's, no, that's colorism. About, no, that's, col but that's colorism. That's colorism. He could have said that very you differently. <sighs> Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I just don't understand where she's coming from with this one. I mean, everybody has a preference, yes, but the words that this man used and the way that he talked to, he brought Serena Williams into it. Like, I, he, it wasn't called for, guys. And for her to agree with this behavior, like, I don't even know. I don't know if, if it's because she's a light-skinned woman. I don't know if I'm looking at it with a different lens because I'm dark-skinned and I've been through some things. 
And other people noticed that as well. Like people in the comments, um, when the shade room posted this, they were saying how she may not understand because she's a lighter skinned woman and people were agreeing that, you know, this was wrong. This was clear and blatant racism and colorism. But anyway, you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think that Rod was wrong for what he said? Or do you think do you think he was merely expressing his preference? What do you think about Lisa Ray agreeing with him? Do you think that she really fully understood what was happening? Or do you think she was just like, you know, it's just a preference, blah, blah, blah. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.